He was a little Joe the Wrangler, he'll wrangle never more. His days with the Remuda, they are o'er. Twas a year ago last April that he rode into our camp, just a little Texas tree and all alone. His saddle was a Texas cack made many years ago, with an oak case for on one foot lightly slung. His bedroll in a cotton sack was loosely tied behind, and his canteen or his saddle horn was hung. He said if we would give him work, he'd do the best he could, though he didn't know straight up about a cow. So the boss, he cut him out a mount, and he kindly put him on, cause he sorta of liked this little kid somehow. He learned to wrangle horses and know them all by name, and get them in by daybreak if he could, to follow the chuck wagon and always hitch the team and help the Cocinero rustle wood. Well, we'd driven down to Pecos, the weather being fine. We camped on the south side in a bend. When a norther started blowing and we called out every man for it taken all us hands to hold him in. Well, little Joe the Wrangler was called out with the rest, although the kid had scarcely reached the herd. When the cattle they stampeded like a hailstorm long they fled, and we was all a riding for the lead. Well, midst the streaks of lightning, a rider we could see, it was little Joe the Wrangler in the lead. He was a riding old blue rocket with a slicker o'er his head, a trying to check the cattle in their speed. At last we got them milling and kind of quieted down, and the extra guard back to the wagon went. But there was one a-missin', and we knew it at a glance, was a little Texas stray, poor wranglin' Joe. Next morning, just at daybreak, we found where Rocket fell, in a washout twenty feet below. And beneath his horse smashed to a pulp, his spur had rung the knell, was our little Texas stray poor wranglin' Joe.